One of the very important things that we like to focus on are goals for the learner and to make sure that the learning process is going to have value and actually address the things that the learner is interested in. So what you're going to see is a guided visualization that will help you gather information so when you do go to fill out the roles and goals form, you already have some ideas of what's important to that learner in a more creative and fun process. Lulu, I wanted to try um, a visualization process with you and it's going to be a guided visualization and when I talk about visualization what I mean is to use your imagination to picture things. It's sort of like letting your mind go like a motion picture. So I'm going to be guiding you through the process and I want you to just relax and, and let whatever images come to mind and any any details. So what I'd like for you to really focus on is that this is in present time. When we're doing this, it's as if it's happening right now. And I want you to just kind of relax into it and notice details. You, you know, if there's color, sound, um, just, you know, as if you were taking a picture and you're looking at all the details, just allow as much of that to come to you as possible. And I want you to connect with how you're really feeling in the moment of this visualization. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to have you relax a little bit and there's nothing to worry about. I will actually go through the process with you. So what I'd like to do right now is be, as we're getting ready to begin is just to have you relax in your chair and just feel yourself completely supported. Your feet are on the ground, and this is a safe space. There's nothing for you to worry about. So you're safe, and this is your time to connect with your inner wisdom, your guidance. So just relax into that. And I'd like for you to just take a moment and kind of scan your body and notice if there's any tight spots. And if there are, just notice them. and. I'd like for you to just um, close your eyes if you're comfortable and just, you know, feel your shoulders, relax and breathe naturally. Good. Then what I'd like for you to do is just, you know, feel your shoulders drop just a little bit. Good, good. And just let yourself sink into your chair. And put your attention on your breathing. And just notice the rise and fall of your chest with each breath. And as you just focus on your breath and relax, just know there's nothing for you to do but just to sink into the relaxation and the comfort at the center of you. And I want you to feel your breath and relax. And give yourself permission to remain in this calm, centered place and begin to prepare yourself for a journey to your future. This is all about you. It's your life and all the wonderful possibilities that are happening to you. And you're going to connect with your inner wisdom somewhere in the future. So relax. And I want you to move forward one year, three years, five years, 10, 15. You choose. You choose how far into the future you want to go. Your life has been amazingly wonderful, and you are about to receive an award for all of your many successes. There are so many wonderful accomplishments that you have achieved in your community and at work, with your family, and all the amazing things you've done in your life. So just take a moment to take that in. 
And then I want you to imagine that there are people gathered in a large auditorium to celebrate you and all that you've accomplished. People are cheering you on. I want you to take a moment and look around the auditorium. What are you feeling right now? I'm going to be quiet for a few moments so you can just take in all that's going on around you. Now I want you to continue in front of the auditorium and take your seat on the stage. How are you feeling? Let the sensation move throughout your body and enjoy the feelings. This is your day, so breathe in the joy. You deserve this. And as you continue to breathe easily, in your mind's eye, the master of ceremonies is stepping up to the microphone and beginning to speak. As you listen to the master of ceremonies talk about you and all your successes, what do you hear? What are some of the goals you set for yourself and that you've reached? What are the main things that are you are doing now that you could not do before you join the literacy program? I'm going to be quiet for a little while so you can feel the gratitude and joy that, of all that you've accomplished. Just take in this feeling and make a mental note of all your successes. Isn't it wonderful? Let this marvelous sense of accomplishment and success fill your body with joy and celebration. And allow yourself to embrace the joy and happiness that it brings to you. And now that you've experienced yourself in the future, begin to think about what you've learned about yourself on your road to success. I'm going to ask you some questions that might help get important details. You don't need to answer aloud. We can talk about it later when we're complete. Did you notice any repeating theme or qualities in all of your successes? And examples might be your giving spirit, your innovative ideas, service to the community, your work, your family, your serene approach to challenges, your leadership abilities or organizational skills. <clears throat> What goals have you made for yourself that have helped you become successful today? Do any specific goals come to mind? What about you, what about your goals most helped you reach your success? Who or what supported your efforts? And just continue to breathe easily and naturally. It's almost time for you to return your attention to the day, to this room at this time. So I want you to take one last look around the auditorium and see if there's anything more you want to be sure and remember about this wonderful day. This is your day. Breathe it in and feel the joy. Take time and open your mind to receive whatever gift this time and future vision has for you.
And when you're ready, there's no hurry, just begin to bring your attention back to present time in this room. Start to feel your fingers wiggling and your toes and bring your back, self back. Let your breathing bring you back energized yet peaceful and serene. And take your time. And when you're ready, just open your eyes. Thank you. So <clears throat> would you like to talk about the journey to the future? Or would you like a few moments to take notes? I want a few moments. Okay. Okay, so I'm curious uh, what this experience was like for you. What kind of things came to mind about your successes and how, what was it like receiving an award for all your accomplishments? My experience in this, in this process, it was wonderful because I can visualize how can I be like five years later and being a, a good community member, working for my community and receive the acknowledgments from the community, being a successful person, achieving my goals and dreams and I get more on into the feeling uh -huh. that in the pictures but I, I, I was feeling really happy, really enthusiastic and being making my dreams true, receiving these acknowledgments. I saw people clapping and saying Good for you, Lulu. You did. You did it. You make it. And it was a wonderful experience because I think now I'm more clear in what I want to do and what are my goals and my dreams. Excellent. And and the goals that I'm working on it. So I just want to keep working on them and made them come true. Excellent. Well, what I'm thinking about is like from this discussion, you know, we can actually sit down with like the roles and goals and, and come up with some specific things because I heard that you, you know, you were active in the community or in family. So we can spend some time. I'd like for you to maybe, you know, take some notes and write about what came to you and we can spend some time working on your goals. Okay? Okay. Thank you. <laughs>